Hello there, welcome back to Jenkins Club. In today's video, I will be doing a review about the Scepter. A full review um, showcasing you what can we perform with this vehicle and how to play with it. Especially right now, we got uh, the Scepter in the Luxury Lounge event as uh, yeah the main reward. I got this tank already and yeah, we are going to talk about it and show you what we can do so that after leaving this video you will be more motivated to grind this tank we have four days left to get this tank for free from the luxury event or you're gonna say no fuck it i don't wanna grind this vehicle i'm not interested thanks um yeah to be honest and to say the truth this tank is a copy paste of the tech tree one the m3 yo it's only a premium so we can uh, have more credits with it, but the rest is all the same. The same armor, uh, this they look the same. This tank got only this legendary camouflage. They got on paper same DPM, same penetration, same speed, same rotation, same everything. Okay, so if you have a look, for example, at, at the DPM 2159 for the Scepter, and also here 2159 for the M3O, we got penetration 236. 278 uh, and here also 236 278 by the way we are talking about equipment let's so uh, talk till the end i'm using here um of course for better penetration um because uh, using uh, the improved ventilation don't make a lot of uh, difference that's why i go for the calibrated shells i'm using enhanced gun laying drive and vertical stabilizer to have a shorter aiming time because the aiming time of this vehicle is really too too long to maximize my armor i'm using enhanced uh, armor enhanced tracks defense system improved optics engine accelerator and high end consumables um yeah so what we can do with this vehicle we got here this uh, emergency track system that means if uh yeah your track is broken um your tank is able to move backward at a speed of four uh kilometer per hour if the main track is destroyed which is really very very useful and uh, will help you a lot to run from dangerous situations um we got 1.7 off hit points if you are using enhanced armor and we can deal 310 damage per shot the intro clip reload time is two second uh 2.7 seconds and the whole magazine reload time is really pretty long um 21 seconds and that will affect a lot your playstyle with this vehicle i hate to play with this vehicle because it needs really a lot of game understanding we are slow we have a long reload time so we have to know how to positionize your vehicle in order to uh perform the best with your vehicle uh, yeah 30 km per hour and 34 of rotation the armor is okay let's have a look at the armor to know which are our weak spots and which uh, spots are strong in our armor so here we go we got a minus eight degree of uh, gun depression and this our tank how it's gonna look like if we are standing um in front of tiger 2 so on flat ground is really don't do that because uh, yeah as we can see here if you are on flat ground our complete hull is easy to penetrate we have only 100 even 107 millimeter for the lower plate and 160 i think yeah for the upper plate so everybody will pen you whatever medium tanks or have your rtds so don't go on flat ground try to hide this part here this all green part from this vehicle behind rocks behind whatever you can find or just go high ground on hills and if you are on hills the enemy will see this if they are on the downside and with that you are more safe uh yeah so but you don't need to angle there is no need to angle just hide your front hull that's all at, uh, what i can say if the enemy is using um premium shells it will be also difficult to pen your turret so we have really a strong front turret we can rely on it so let's see against uh, for example tds if it's gonna be the same for example uh, the RHM Borzish buff and trigger or oh, let's take the scorpion we know the scorpion got an insane penetration so scorpion with AP still struggling but if you use uh, heat shells premium shells he will be also able to penetrate your towers so be aware of TDs tier 8 tier 90 TDs and maybe no tier 7 I don't think so so be aware of tier 8 and tier 90 TDs uh, they are going to penetrate your turret 
but the mats and the heavies um, will not penetrate your frontal turret and the hull anybody will pen it that's all what uh, we can say about uh, the armor so just be aware of tier 8 and tier 9 TDs they are going to penetrate the, the turret again and play always hull down try to hide this part here and we are safe so the first battle gonna be in Castilla it's no more like Stella to be honest after the last update uh, my game is no more lagging while playing uh, Castilla I think they uh, solved the problem they fixed the problem and now playing here as always I'm going medium side if I call Castilla always I go medium side because yeah it's really uh, surprised the enemy and uh, there is really lot not a lot of players who go as medium side in this map that's why I always go medium side and I think it will stay so because I don't know uh, most players are programmed to go up there to the hill with their heavies or to go uh, to the to the Castilla with their mediums I'm playing this battle by the way with my boy from the clan pro gamer f2p really a nice guy playing good doing the best of it always um, yeah, so, um, I'm spotted right now, so that's why I'm rolling back, and what I hate about this vehicle is the long reload time, so we, we really need to know how to positionize your vehicle, which is going to be your next move, and um, it's very, very important, and try not to be spotted, you cannot play with this vehicle front line, you have always to be second line, being like a ghost like this, sneaking your shots from distance, uh, because you are very slow as I told you and if you are spotted and you are if you are going front line even the heavies will, um, it's gonna uh, you're going to be really hot food easy food even for heavies because we have a long bullet time and you are slow so be aware of being spotted try to play sneaky and try to positionize your tank like that so that you are not going to be spotted and if you are spotted just find a position a hull down position where you can hide your hull and you show only your turret so that even you, if you are spotted you will not take a lot of damage because we got a strong frontal turret so till now so far so good i'm in the middle i'm sneaking my shots already while talking here we got already here two and a half minutes in this battle and i dealt already 2.1k of damage so far so good um i did my job even if you are going to lose this battle i don't care because i did my best but uh, this is not going to be the case i saw that the type 62 rushing to our heavy side so i wanted to find him here we go boom arrivederci and let's keep going let's keep going so we are already three versus four are we going to win this let's see so now it's all about positionizing your tank all about what is uh, going to be your next move it's like a chess game so um, i will try first to finish the comet because i saw that the comet is also low hp so if you finish him if we take him out we have definitely a better chance to win this battle so let's do it i'm very very so look at this 10 km per hour oh man i hate this tank to be honest but it's okay in the right hands we can really um, do the job with this tank and i have actually a good win rate with it even I didn't play a lot of battles here we go shot blocked i'm in high ground as well as i told you and uh, yeah the meds will really struggle and will have no chance to penetrate um even your upper plate of your um frontal armor and the turret anyway it's impossible to penetrate for the mediums here we go the scepter is also always there showing his side oh i missed tell me how i don't know why and i don't know how i missed that shot actually it was actually in my opinion i would say i was through but yeah rng just hated me in that moment and uh, i didn't spend him so uh, what to do now he's capturing the base we have to shoot on that smv tc 56 so i'm gonna go down trying to surround him while my boy pro gamer uh, is trying to distract him he's doing good he's doing really good he just distracting him i tell him to 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 hold the position he's doing good He's distracting that dude and now uh, I will come and uh, we will finish him together here we go here we go here we go surprise boom and he gonna shoot on him boom and my turn now here we go okay from yeah three versus four to three versus one and let's keep going already 2.9 K of damage and um, yeah we can deal a lot of damage with this vehicle if you have a good day if you have a good battle and uh, yeah that's why in the end i will be surprised because even 
I will do more than 3k of damage, I think 3.5 or I don't know how much, 3.4, it will be not, uh, it will not be an ace. And with ammo rack in the end, here we go, 3, let's say 3.4, which is actually good for a tier 8 heavy tank, but it's gonna be only 3rd class mastery badge, even I destroyed 4 enemy tanks. Yeah, but as we can see here, it's a very good credit maker, this vehicle, and that's why at least this should motivate you to uh, grind this vehicle for free in this event because it's a good credit maker and that which uh, yeah let's say the difference between this one and the tech tree twin bro is a premium tank and at least this is worth it to grind this tank this second battle I got for you guys is uh, gonna be here on this map I forgot the name of this map right now Whatever, who cares? And yeah, I'm going medium side this time. And uh, yeah. Let's see what we can do here. I think first of all we should finish or punish and finish the T44. He's low HP, so gonna be an easy thing for me. Only one shot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And boom. Oh, I was too late. Let's keep pushing. Let's see what we can do there. The charioteer is running away. So now the decision reload or fire a shot, then go back. Here we go, let's fire a shot with Heschel, maybe, oh, only 269, okay, reload again, so that's what uh, we should, or we should uh, play, that's how we should play with this vehicle, because of this long bullet time, we have always to, yeah, let's say, find the right timing of firing your shots, or if it's better to reload instead of shooting, if you have only one shell left. And it depends always on the situation on the battlefield. If you see there is no enemy around you and you have one shell left, so just reload. It's better to have three shells than one shell and then reload. So uh, that's what uh, we have to know that. We have to master that play style when you should reload, where you have to positionize your vehicle. You have to know the hull down spots because we have you have to play hull down with this vehicle or you have to play second line like this from distance without being spotted because if you are not hull down they are going to finish you if you are showing if you are if you are on flat ground and the enemy can see your um, your hull your frontal hull everyone will penetrate you so that's why you have to play to play sneaky or you just capture. Uh, or conquer your hull down position, stay there, and uh, that's going to be the case of the next battle I'm gonna show you. The next battle I will not do a lot of damage, but I will block a lot of damage and distract the enemy. So, uh, so we're gonna see it. Let's focus now on this battle here. So we are three versus two. I'm still full HP, so I decided to risk more, of course. Uh, my teammates got less HP than me and that's what we should do if you are really a heavy tank if you are full HP Please don't camp and stay there, but take more risk Absorb the damage so that your teammates stay alive and they will help you in the end to win the battle If you are full HP with the heavy tank in the end in uh, Such situations on the battle just go just push take the damage don't care just take the damage uh, You are not going to die so um, it's very important to go frontline if you are um, full HP and I think it's whatever if you are playing with heavy tank or with a medium tank or, or with a TD uh, because uh, that will be very decisive in the end to win more battles because I see sometimes a lot of situations um, some players are full HP but they just camp and that's really really very very useless for your team so that you you push um, or you force the teammates which are low HP to push and uh, getting destroyed and in the end yeah being instead of I don't know three versus two one versus two and you lose the battle that's why always if you are full HP push 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 take risks if you wanna win more battles and here we go we won this battle we dealt here in this battle 3.5 K of damage, with his, which is again insane, second class mastery badge, and again, a bunch of credits, here we go, 60k of credits, this time without premium and without credit boosters. So as we can see here, even without credit boosters and without premium account, we can win 
a lot, a lot of credits with this vehicle. Last but least, it's going to be this battle here in Dead Whale. And uh, what I'm going to do in this battle, and this is going to be your average normal battle with a scepter. So you're going to go hold down, just go in a hold down position and distract the enemy. This is also what we can do with this vehicle, not always playing aggressive or playing sneaky or playing second line. You, you can go front line if you have that hull down position. And that's what I'm doing here. In the beginning that wasn't that wasn't the perfect hull down uh, position in this map, but I will later even go more back and find a better position to block more damage. And uh, this playstyle is also very, very um, useful and effective for your team. Why? Because if you block damage, that means you are absorbing the damage, which actually your teammates can take it, but you are taking it and it's blocked. So that it will give an opportunity for your teammate to use that time while the enemy fired his shot and missed and shoot on him. And uh, yeah, you will, of course, with this playstyle also win more battles if you master this playstyle. Okay, so taking risk blocking a lot and a lot of damage and also with this play style um, it's actually easy just go hull down we know uh, the strength and the weakness of our armor in this case our turret is really unpenetrable for uh, all the tanks except TDs especially T90 TDs so if you know that just uh, if you know which enemy is uh, staying in front of you show only his turret uh, your turret for him and we are pretty safe so that's what I'm trying to do in this battle and it's working very good as we can see already 2.3k of damage blocks and yeah we are getting closer and closer to my next win so here we go roll back roll back roll back always don't if you are not held down like me right now don't go don't push of course front line because we know that if we are front line on flat ground we are going to be finished so i decided to roll back in the end after absorbing a lot of damage in my hull down position and just wait here just be patient everything gonna be all right so let's see what's going on there the super haircut is completely on the other side in the end of the map is right now going medium side pushing on our other super haircut from our team but i think i'm gonna be too late because actually the super haircut got a very fast reload time I will be too late to help him so uh, let's roll back and maybe see uh, if I can uh, finish with AMX M4 so as we can see here playing with this vehicle it's all about positionizing your tank it's all about surprising the enemy it's all about as an analyzing the situations seeing what's going on around you and then decide your next move and if you decide your next move you're gonna be right because you cannot fall back again like playing with a medium tank or with a light tank if you decided to move your move should be really well planned because you are slow you cannot uh, be move and be spotted and then you cannot run away again if you are spotted and you move for an enemy, it's gonna be the right choice. If not, you're going to be destroyed. So that's it. That's that's uh, that's all about playing with this vehicle. And now the last one is uh, which one? The G Sword. G Sword. Yeah, should be. It's a, it's a tank destroyer. So he should be somewhere here, right there in the end of the map, in a in a tank destroyer spot. So I think there or there. I don't think he's AFK because if he was AFK, I should spot him. He's somewhere in the extreme right of the map or in the completely other side. Let's see. Where are you, boy? Where are you, my boy? Searching, searching, searching. Oh, 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 we got something, we got something, we got, we got signal. He's right there with the RHM, yeah. The high metal boss should finish him, I think, with one shot with a hash shell. Or maybe he needs my help. But actually, the g sword can also, can finish the RHM with two best shells, so... It's better to help him. Oh, I was too late, he got his butt. Here we go, 1.8k of damage dealt, but a lot 
of damage blocked, to nearly 2.4k of damage blocked, and we won this battle, 41 points for my rating, going again direction diamond league, and again I think a lot of credits, here we go, 43k of credits. So yeah, that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed watching it and I wish you all good luck grinding the scepter from the luxury lounge event, you can get it completely for free in this luxury lounge event, we got 4 days left, it's all possible, just grind, grind, grind and good luck to get it. See you soon in the next video guys, bye bye.